What's up guys? It has been a minute. Sorry, I had to close my thing. Eliminate that wind noise. But I am back. I know it's been a while since I've uh, really done any content. Um, just uh, life has been crazy lately. Um, just some health issues and whatnot. But I will be back. But I wanted to make a video today. Um, I know I started this channel uh, pretty much uh, saying how I got the new 22 Sportster S. My man Blockhead, thanks for helping me out. Um, he hooked me up with Seminole Harley in Orlando. Uh, and the owner there, Melissa, really hooking me up. But today that's exactly where I'm going back to baby so yeah um, really love the Sportster S I mean all my content's been about it you know I've talked about some upgrades and some funny stuff like that crazy windshield and uh, I realized the aftermarket parts just aren't there so for that reason I will be going to a 22 Lowrider S and uh, that's where I'm actually on my way to now at a uh, Seminole Harley and I you know I called Melissa and Eddie um, actually while they were on spring break to discuss and uh, and, and find the one uh, that I'm gonna be picking up and um, you know it already has some upgrades and things like that so it's pretty exciting So yeah, um, basically what I'm doing is I'm, I'm heading back to Seminole Harley there in Orlando and uh, Blockhead and Block Fam's backyard. But uh, I'll be meeting up with Melissa and Eddie. I don't know if you guys remember from my first video, just talking about them and how great they are. Um, they have a 22 Lowrider S that I'm going to be getting. So I'm heading there now to, to go meet with them and uh, check it out and make sure, you know, it's what I'm looking for. And um, I'll be trading this baby in for it. And again, can't say enough about Seminole Harley. Um, you know, they, they really try their best to keep, keep you going there. Uh, keeping your business unlike a lot of other Harley dealers kind of money hungry but uh, you know Eddie for sure great sales guy um, Melissa the owner is awesome um, actually I talked to them they were on their spring break uh, I don't know if they said like North Carolina or something but um, I talked to them both uh, about this lowrider s they have it's used it only has like 400 miles um, but it's pretty cool because it has all the upgrades on it that I'm looking for, at least, uh, you know, in, in the meantime. Uh, so it's kind of nice buying a bike that already has all that on it. Um, one of my biggest uh, issues and gripes about the Sportster S is the literal lack of aftermarket parts. It is super annoying. You know, with exhaust, you have like the main option is like two brothers and it's a two-in-one it's ugly as heck i you know i don't like it i know a lot of people have it but that's one of the main options um and then you have other uh there's like jekyll and hyde trying to sell an exhaust for over three grand are you kidding me heck no um and then there's some other like lower I, well i don't mean lower but like foreign out of out of the usa type of, of places that are selling it um the one that i did like uh cobra exhaust but i, I see a lot of people were hating on that because it uh the it, it's not parallel like the cans whenever you put them on but i've seen people get it and fix that pretty easy um but that's my biggest complaint about the sportster s is the lack of the aftermarket uh for it and I figured, uh, I got a 22, this one's a 22. I figured by the time I bought this 
uh, the, the 21s are already out for a year. I was like, oh, the 22s, there should be an aftermarket, you know, coming up for these, but it's simply just not there. Um, and that's, that's my main concern and reason of why I want to switch. Um, so I can get a bike that I can make more customizable. Um, like I said, you know, I've told you guys I'm six foot five. Um, thankfully the Sportster S has forward controls. Um, and it's not really meant to be a two up kind of bike. I mean, you can do it, but, um, that's another reason the Lowrider S I feel is more of a two up bike. Um, uh, maybe not for long rides, but. I think it's more capable than the Sportster S is. Uh, the one thing I'm gonna miss is, dude, I love this thing and its power, the torque, uh, this thing zips through traffic. Um, and I know I'm gonna see kind of a decrease uh, going to a Lowrider S, but you know, that's that's my main reason, uh, aftermarket and uh, just a better two up situation. Um, other than that, like I don't have, many complaints about the sports dress i did uh i've been through three batteries on this thing um all under warranty but this apparently has had all kinds of issues um i brought it in for a warranty repair at brandon harley they had to put this thing in pieces to figure out what was going on um and the tech there wasn't familiar with sports dresses so they were on the phone with harley uh directly trying to get it all figured out and they had my bike for freaking two weeks and you know it's kind of disappointing to buy a bike and not be able to ride it especially this time of year and the company can't even figure out the issue so that was kind of the start of me like man should i get a different harley because what we don't know what more issues could come about with this bike you know because it hasn't been out for a while um so i guess that that's also part of my decision you know, the Lowrider S is a, uh, the engine, that the Milwaukee M8 is tried and true, it's tested. Um, so that's kind of my main reason. Um, I don't hate this bike. Uh, as you can hear in my voice too, <laughs> I would say the suspension as well. I think I'm going to get a smoother ride with the Lowrider S. Um, but yeah, so I'm on my way to Seminole Harley, which is in Orlando. I'm going to be in Lockhead's backyard. Um, it's always a joy going there. Not like I'm going to see him or anything, but you know, it, it's a cool city to be in. I live about two hours from the dealership, but Orlando itself is a good probably hour and a half. Um, so I get to take the nice and dangerous I-4 to get there. But yeah, uh, kind of I'll speed up to uh, us going there and um, I'm going to do some B-roll of the bike, show you guys. Hopefully I can uh, talk to Eddie and Melissa. Maybe you guys can meet them. I'll let them talk about the dealership. So I'll see you guys there. And we are pretty much here. Uh, right down the road from the Seminole Harley Davidson dealership to see my peoples. Eddie and uh, maybe Melissa will be there. But we're going to go ahead and check out the... Uh, bike that I'm trading this one for the uh, 2022 Lowrider S I think it's only got like 400 miles on it so we shall be there soon almost missed the turn <laughs> but here it is one of the I think it's one of the biggest or the biggest dealership in Florida um, as far as Harley goes, it's just a beautiful, beautiful place. Great to work with. Great customer service. You know, I've, I've told you guys all about them. Told you I've had issues with other dealerships. But look at this place, man. Sick. All these burnouts on the road. <laughs> but yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and park and head on inside. And, uh... Yeah, I'll be right back.
there she is. Looking beautiful. There she is. There's Eddie. So, hey, I talked about you in the first video. I don't know if people even know what you look like. So. <laughs> Here we go. Boom. Yeah, gorgeous bike. And Eddie's putting it right up here for the bell. Come see Eddie, Seminole Harley. Ride motorcycles, have fun. Yeah, he's a great dude. We're oh, I love it, I love it. <laughs> All right, hold it out there, let's ring this bell. Boom, here you go. He's gonna film me ringing the bell. Here we go. <laughs> Woo! There it is. <laughs> Thank you again, Eddie. Anytime. Always a pleasure, come see him. He will hook you up. He gets stuff taken care of quickly, so. Anytime. Come see him. <laughs> I love it. So here we are, now with the helmet on. First time point of view with this new riding. Fibra. <laughs> oh. Boom. Nice loud start up and engine. I'm gonna let it heat up a little bit get my GPS this is one thing I'm gonna miss for sure um, is the gauge isn't digital like the Sportster S was um, so I no longer have the GPS but I got it on my watch on my phone so we good but man this bike is freaking sick would say it's a lot different than a than a Sportster S for sure um, you know I test rode it a good amount the one thing I don't like, as you guys know, I'm six foot five, is I want to get forwards. Because you see where the pegs are, they, they run into my legs a lot, um, these, these blue pegs that are on here. Um, so I'm definitely gonna get that switched out. But listen to this thing. Well, I would open it up, but this car's right here. Go ahead and close this lid down so you guys can hear me better. But yeah, I mean, this this has a, uh, gosh, I don't even know the name of the, the slip-on exhaust, but it it growls really nice. Um, Eddie told me they put it on at the dealership, but listen to this thing. Oh, so great, so great. But yeah, guys, this is, uh, this is my new ride. Um, cool thing, there's a GoPro, uh, uh, GoPro mount on the front of this so I guess I can you know stick a camera there for a cool point of view but this is my new my new ride new riding style completely different from the sports dress I'm really happy that I got this um, but yeah now it's time for me to head home back to Mulberry so I shall see you guys uh, when I see you oh yeah forgot to mention please like and subscribe peace